You know, I have a weird feeling that this place probably won't have a back entry like the other one did, because there really isn't a need for it. Because you can kind of warp straight to it, and there's not really much dilly-dallying in the post-product or something like that. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And should the punishment... What the heck's going on? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one. And delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Creepy. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are. Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Meh. But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Man, I thought my voice was annoying. Ah, oh, there you are. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markov and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Okay. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. But really, Fantastic. Okay. So that new guy seems a little bit strange and weird. Let's talk to him and just see what he's... Mm. He just muttered something. I heard that mutter. Another member of the family. Hello, hello. So very good to meet you. Hmm. Ooh, so silent, so menacing. A true assassin of the old way. Cicero likes you. Oh, yes. Cicero likes you indeed. <laughs> Why'd you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Braville was desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home here. This is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> Happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say. The words. <laughs> I don't want to talk to this guy anymore. <laughs> I really don't. He, he, he's, that's that's a different kind of creepy. Take care of the Muiri contract. Okay. Uh, I don't know what his, I don't know what his deal was. I, I, I didn't like it. No me gusta, por favor. Um. Okay. 
so first contract we gotta go to where was it well, what did he what did he say let me check the map here uh oh i gotta i gotta report back to him too okay well i'll do i'll do that later not a big deal um i think it just mattered that i completed all of them so that that's good and we can just we can handle that another time um but yeah let me let me let's just mark this mark that just like that and see where we gotta go okay mark half alrighty here we are all right Holmes. I said Holmes, you backfire you have a triple worker helping me that guy was running Hmm. He seems weird. Okay, let's go into the Silver Blood Inn here. See what this lady wants us to do in particular. Aside from just flat out murder someone, I guess. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Where's this lady at? Okay, right over here. Hello. Close the door. Why are you looking at me like that? Dark Brotherhood has come. The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. Oh my goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Yes. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Um. Remain silent. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Mm -hmm. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Eh, I kind of want her to tell me the full story. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful Lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away but it was all lies Elaine used me he ruined my name destroyed my friendship with the shatter shields do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm he heard about Frigga's murder he wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind Elaine used me to get close to my friends and now they all think I'm some kind of monster Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. Fair enough. So what about Nelsine? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nelsine dead... Maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Hardcore. Anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Mm. You can use it. Just coat your weapon with it. Then... You get the idea. That stuff kills fast. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. Three years ago. Holy crap. I've got some freaking lotus extract. I think that stuff was uh, an instant kill, if I remember right. 
Anyway, we got some traveling to do, I guess. Let's see how far we've got to go on the map here. We gotta go to Windhelm, I know that much for most of it. But Elaine Dufont's up there. Roll put the I've been there before. Huh. I don't remember when I went there, but apparently I've been there before. Maybe when I was going from place to place some other time. But anyway, that's a lot less fast traveling I have to do, so yay.